Hey there, Captain Newton's here. Exclusive sets, don't we just love them? No. No we don't. They're nothing but a way to foster elitism. First by only allowing a specific group of people who were able to go to a specific place to get those sets, and later by allowing scalpers to inflate the prices so only the well-off fans can afford their exorbitant fees. And so we have this year's exclusive San Diego Comic Con Best Spin Dual Set. With the expo being cancelled due to the 2020 apocalypse, there was an opportunity for LEGO to do the right thing and make it available to all those who wanted it. And they did. Well, if you happen to live in the States and Canada. Most of you know by now that I'm no fan of display sets, but this one I was drawn to. How could I not? As a Star Wars fan, it depicted what could possibly be the most shocking reveal ever in the entire saga, an iconic moment of cinema. So how did I manage to get my hands on it? I was lucky enough to know a kind Shannon who managed to find a copy for me and who dispatched it across political borders to reach me. So thank you Shannon, this video wouldn't have been possible without your help. But enough chatting, let's get building. As you'd expect, we start the creation process by assembling the base. It's all pretty straightforward, with the underside having a handful of rounded 2x2 plates to help limit scratches on the surface this set will rest on. A nice thought. Then we start with the platform proper. I found it interesting that the designers placed some colored pieces inside the model, perhaps to make it easier to follow the instructions. Whatever the reason, those splashes of color soon disappear under the overall gray construction. The radiator grill pieces are the perfect parts to use for the steps. And the round plates not only give the set its necessary shape, it secures the pieces beneath it nicely. After that, it's the turn of the pier-like section that extends into Bespin's metal abyss. I like the use of a pitchfork as the bottom end of the soon-to-be-assembled sensor array. Despite the fact that it is a pitchfork, it's the perfect shape to match the original. But before we build further up, we need to attach some railings. Safety first. I enjoyed the assortment of pieces used, including flexible bars and even a microphone in medium standard grey. With that done, we need to create a trio of columns. This is a little fiddly, but I did appreciate the use of those black bars to add internal rigidity to something that would have been pretty flimsy otherwise. The black round parts at the top represent the section that was cut off during the duel. And finally, it's time to construct the rest of the array. This isn't too complicated, and the end result looks the part. All that's left to do is add a commemorative plaque, and we're done. The Best Bin Duel doesn't have many complex building techniques. It is designed to be a display piece, and actually looks great from every angle, which is a definite bonus. The set comes with two minifigures. The first one is Darth Vader, who looks as menacing as ever. This is not an exclusive minifig, and is currently the best representation of Vader LEGO have done. My favorite part is his helmet, which is made up of two pieces. Remove the top, and the lower section remains, exactly as we've seen in the movie. And best of all, when they're connected, it's seamless. An excellent piece of design. Under the helmet is what's left of Anakin, scars and all. Oh, and the silver arm printing looks fantastic too. I can't fault this minifigure, it's perfect. The other character is Luke Skywalker. Again, this is not an exclusive minifigure, having appeared in Betrayal at Cloud City back in 2018. He comes with two expressions, one determined, and the other pretty beat up. But that's what you get when you don't complete your training and think you can face a Sith Lord, I guess. But good though this minifig is, there is something not quite right. Ah yes, that's much more scene accurate. I really like this set. It looks good, and you can display the characters in various places along it. Essentially, you're able to pretty much recreate this entire unforgettable moment of cinema. But the exclusivity really lets it down, as well as its limited run. And really, LEGO, why is this an 18 plus set? Its complexity certainly doesn't warrant such a restriction, nor is the subject matter, since the movie was actually rated U back in the day. The beauty of this display set is marred by all this mess, and because of that, I feel I have to award the Best Bin Duel 2.5 tentacles. That's all I have for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to add your support to my LEGO Ideas proposal, the link is in the description, and I'll speak to you next time.